गेट रेडी स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन आई वुड लाइक टू मेक सर्टेन ऑब्जर्वेशन विद रिगार्ड टू दिस बेल स्पेशली अबाउट द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज इन त्रिपुरा वी आर ऑल इन सपोर्ट ऑफ दिस बेल बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस अमेंडमेंट और रादर दिस रेपीलिंग ला इज नेसेसरी इन व्यू ऑफ द चेंज कंडीशन देयर बट देन इट अपीयर्स दैट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द कोऑपरेटिव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड सोसाइटीज इन दीज एरियाज और स्टेट्स त्रिपुरा एंड मणिपुर कैन नॉट बी सोल्ड merely by having a uniform set of cooperative laws laws are very important and in that respect certain changes are undoubtedly called for here sir i would like the government to take note of certain things which are there at the moment in order that they may take steps to improve them first First of all i should like to point out that in the tribal areas especially among the tribal people of tripura there is great need for expansion and development of cooperative societies it appears that about 70% according to my information of the population are to be included or brought within the रेंज ऑफ द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एट द मोमेंट कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज आर वेरी फ्यू एंड दे आर नॉट फंक्शनिंग वेल समहाउ और अदर द बल्क ऑफ द पीपल हैव बीन लेफ्ट आउट ऑफ दीज कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन दैट द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज फुलफिल एट द मोमेंट इज ऑफकोर्स द प्रोविजन ऑफ रूल rural credit and there is no doubt that this is an important aspect of the work of the cooperative societies and that has to be expanded at present people do not get adequate relief or rural credit through the agencies of cooperative societies and so they remain more or less the victims of the traditional money lenders of the country side tripura or manipur is no exception to the general rule that is prevalent in this regard therefore it is important that the cooperative societies should be provided with adequate funds so that the credit needs of the people especially of the very down trodden people in the tribal areas are adequately and promptly met next about the management of the cooperative societies i have to say that most of these societies are not run well it seems that there is a lot of bureaucratic interference from the top whereas the initiative at the bottom is not yet developed for the success of the cooperative movement in our country it seems that the majority of the shareholders in tripura cooperative societies do not take any interest in the affairs of the cooperative societies it follows therefore that something is wrong in the management of the cooperative societies which should explain wahe even the shareholders or the participants in the cooperative societies do not take part in the management of the affairs of the society the government should pay attention to this aspect of the matter and see that the cooperative societies are not controlled by a coterie of people but they are 
more and more controlled and in a very good way by the majority of the shareholders or the participants in the cooperative society in this connection naturally the work of the cooperative department assumes certain importance and urgency at the moment it appears in tripura especially that the cooperative department is not so much interested in getting the popular cooperation in drawing the people into the activities of cooperative societies as in somehow or other carrying on what they understand to be the more routine job the result has been that the little that could be done with the existing set up is not being done and there is considerable discontent among various sections of the people i have been informed from there that some relief officers themselves occupy positions of chairmanship vice chairmanship and secretary ship of all the societies and the people are left in the background that is to say it is more or less taken for granted that these societies should be under the management of these officials and it will be for them to lay down the lines and the policies of the cooperative societies i think this is another matter which should be seriously considered by the government whether even if this arrangement is permissible in law or under the rules this arrangement is suitable or expedient in the situation in which these societies are functioning in this connection i may mention that in some cases the loans are not being properly administered and it appears that the wrong type of people are given loans whereas the really needy people are denied what should go to them the result is that the artisans and others have suffered and the economy and the trade of this area have also considerably suffered as a result of the inefficient and inadequate administration of cooperative loans i have got a number of examples but i need not go into them here full stop